Hey guys, um, today we're going to be installing the um, rear basket from Goat Fabrications and I want you to check it out. Let's go. Okay, today we're going to be installing this, the goat uh, basket. I'm going to show you quickly how to do it and then I'll link below um, the Goat Fabrication uh, link of installation. This is just me installing it and showing you how easy it is and if I can do it you can do it I just want you to know that um, I'm not sponsored by goat I'm just trying out their new product and out of all the products I looked at this looked the most solid so here we go come on all right here's what's in the pack here's what's come in it um, you've got your hardware I sent you a cool koozie I sent you extra uh, padding to help uh, with the sound deadening and um, vibration and uh, the two brackets and then the basket itself and uh, it, it's all solid right here check it out so I'm gonna be putting this together today piece by piece and hopefully I can show you how it's done all right gang you're gonna need a t30 torque right there and they're gonna give you hardware for that for sure you're gonna have to remove that first. All right, first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna add some stripping to where uh, the metal is gonna be hitting. Let's go ahead and do that. They give you a couple strips here and they give you an extra strip here. So let's use this one for here. Let's cut this open. And get all the stuff you need here. Basically, you're going to just put it through here. That's where it's going to be touching. It's a double-sided spongy deal here. Yep. And this side's going to go here, I believe. So... We're going to put it right there. This looks like a pretty easy install, really. Let's get these parts together. There. That should do it. Next, we're going to take our T38 and uh, take this out. Pull this up here. Uh, slide it in there. Oh, God, please. Uh, right. You can take one of these black wash, these black ones here, and we're going to stick that in. Right here. All right. So I can tell right now this is going to cut it really close. I have the built right industry. Uh, Molly uh, panel back to protect this uh, plastic. This plastic scratch is pretty good. And then also to mount some stuff up here. So originally I was going to go with this lowest mount, but I'll probably have to go to this mount to uh, to get that uh, basket on, but I don't think that's going to cause a problem. These are incrementally about an inch apart, so um, I don't think that's going to make a huge, huge difference. So hopefully the basket will sit and it won't it won't uh, interfere with this uh, rack. Now I'm just going to do the other side. All 
All right, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to add some uh, some of that tape over here where the, and I'm going to add the thicker one because it looks like this is where it's really going to impact. So th this is a little bit thicker than the other one. See it? We're going to put um, tape here and here too as well. So we'll put those on when we get the fitment when of the basket once we get it on here. I'm going to do that for both sides. Because of the uh, built right um, only panel, we're going to have to sit this on this uh, right here. And that's going to, um, I think that's going to uh, be the right spot. It's not going to be touching anything. And it just still gives me enough height uh, to uh, put my battery in there. So let's get that put in there. Okay, on this one, I added a tape here and I put I cut this big fat tape in half and put it here. I'm going to see if that makes a difference when I put this on. So let's go ahead and try to put this on here without wrecking it. Okay. We got a washer here. All right. Oops. It does make it a little thicker. Once you get it tight down, I think it'll be okay. Okay. what it looks like that way so there you go all right let's go ahead and try to fit this up there this is solid and heavy might need two people if you are a crippled guy like me but I'm gonna try this by myself see if I can do it That's it. Look. So right now, basically, I just kind of fit that in there. And looks like I still have probably enough space. Yep. Put my uh, fridge, uh, my slide out, my fridge and all that, and it'll, it'll catch on top of that, as well as um, my goal is to put my batteries up there so I um, have a place to, to keep my batteries when I'm out on the trail. So that being said, we have to kind of figure out where it's going to go, and then we'll put the uh, cushion here we'll put the cushion underneath there and see where it sits so we can put cushion here cushion here cushion here cushion there same so i'll take this out and we'll cushion it up and then uh we'll get this locked down looks good from here now we're going to be putting this bolts and washers through here secure it down and through here into that and uh we're gonna go ahead and secure that and get fitment all right, now we got these bolts in. We're going ahead and uh, we're going to uh, kind of adjust the basket to be kind of even, and then we're gonna tighten everything down.
So let's go. All right, that's it. It's the uh, goat basket. Um, for me, it can't go down because uh, it's going to hit the top of this. So unless there's a solution uh, for that bracket, I can't I have to mount it as high as I can go. Um, yeah. So now I'll be installing the other bracket for the here once the uh, parts come in. I'm just waiting for some brackets. So once it comes in, I'll. I'll uh, mount that and I'll show you guys how that goes. But there you go. That's it. Uh, I'll... All right, guys. I So I'm able to store all my um, three out of my four battery packs. Um, if this was lower, I definitely could uh, store it because this opening is only like, like, uh, I can get it here. From here to here is like nine and a half inches from top to bottom. So, but in here, from the roof to the bottom, you've got lots of. But to to get the um, to get the Blue Yeti up there, that was kind of my plan. I need it to go lower, and I can't go lower because of the built right Molly panels and where this bracket fits. Unless I can come. You know, unless I can find a solution for that, because um, it's about, if you can see, so you can see right there, there's about um, a little over a half inch overlap for this uh, built right in this bracket. So, uh, unfortunately, I'm not able to to do that unless I do some kind of spacer out for this bracket if i can do some spacers for this bracket maybe it can come down a couple more notches so uh i'll just play with that for a little bit and uh for now this is solid um i'm going to play with it and take it on some trails and see how it sounds give you guys a, a true feedback hey guys uh, i just wanted to give you an update here real quickly um, but first of all, I want you to check out this view I'm at. It's a little windy out here, so it might be a little hard to hear me, but uh, it's a pretty cool view out here, uh, here in uh, Arizona. Um, kind of found this little area out by my house. I thought it was pretty cool to just go explore here a little bit. I seen this a few months ago. <clears throat> anyway, um, so after installing the, the rear basket and putting in my um, fridge slider and my, um, I had to make some adjustments. So the distance between here and here uh, for my fridge needed to be 20 inches. So um, I took off the feet on the bottom of my platform here. So, and then I had to adjust the um, table up to a higher level and that barely cleared it, uh, but now it works. And I can put my big battery here, my fridge here. But the challenge here is, is that, um, if you can see, this doesn't give me much distance between here and here to um, add anything on the top. So I'm working with the designer from Goat Fabrication, hopefully come up with a solution um, to maybe modify the lip here. Um, it's a pretty big lip maybe down to one and a half inches. That'll give me enough room to be able to slide stuff back there and yet still give me a lip to, to um, anchor things too. So um, anyway, uh, no vibrations. Uh, the padding worked great. Um, this thing is solid. Um, I can't come, you know, I can't wait till we come up with a modification on this so that's more functional for, for my Bronco. Anyway, that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed that and um, 
go uh, check them out, uh, Goat Fabrication. It might be a good application for what you're doing. Um, anyways, uh, thank you to uh, people that are watching my videos and uh, giving me the thumbs up. Uh, if you like this stuff, um, give me the thumbs up and or subscribe to my channel for more uh, uh, products that I'm going to be doing and in, um, in future uh adventures that I'll be going on. I really appreciate that. That really helps the channel a lot. And I re really appreciate all of you that have been supporting my channel. And again, um, you know, I'm not, re I'm not being sponsored by Goat Fabrication, but the, they actually are um, very uh, respondent in their customer service. And then they also um, uh, support their uh, active duty military and veterans. So that, that's much appreciated to me. So until next time, we'll see you guys later. Peace.